Okay, good morning learners. So in this video, we are going to learn about the different benefits of separating mixture from the products in the community. So let's begin. Here are the things that we should learn by the so end of this. So here are the things that we should learn by the end of the lesson. So basically, uh, at the end of the lesson, you are going to tell why separating mixtures are being done. Next, you are going to enumerate and describe some of the benefits of the separating mixtures. And third, will be cite some examples that can be seen practiced in the community. So, let's continue. So, separating mixture. So, the components of mixtures are separated from one another from for different reasons. So there are many reasons why we separate mixtures because uh, in some other reasons uh, we separate mixture because the component of that specific mixture is needed. So mixture separation is done if only one or few of the components from the mixture is needed. So uh, like for example, you have to separate things from that of uh, the mixture, okay? When you are eating halo-halo and uh, your favorite there is the sweetened banana. So, uh, take note that you can separate the mixtures of that halo-halo by barely picking or uh, using a spoon to get, to get the uh, sweetened banana there. Okay, but let's not dig on that. Now, Knowing the properties of mixtures and its component can help us identify which separation technique is most suitable to use. So basically, in a mixture, you have to at least identify whether that is heterogeneous or homogeneous mixture in order for you to easily separate the mixture or the component of that mixture. So here are some of the important benefits of doing different separation techniques of mixture in products found in the community. So basically, we have different products found in the community. We have... Uh, water, we have distilled water, we have food, we have products from the industries. So those products are basically or uh, using separating mixtures, okay? So uh, the first one is the benefits of the salt, okay? Or the benefits of separating the salt from that of the sea water. So, salt can be produced from the sea water. Yes, because the sea water is some, somewhat salty. So, salty water from the sea is collected and is stored in a pond. Then, it is left dry via evaporation from the heat of the sun. So, after drying, solid remains and harvested and processed as the salt. So, just like in Pangasinan, so in Pangasinan, we can notice that uh, most uh, of their products came from the sea, and salt is one of that. Now, uh, in order for them to get the salt from that of the sea, they need to collect the sea water, okay? Then, uh, let it sit in a pond. Then after that, uh, through the process of evaporation, they are able to... Uh, retrieve or they are able to collect the salt because in the evaporation the water will turn into gaseous compound now after turning the gaseous compound the solid object or the solid particles will remain and that is the salt okay so in in getting the salt we need the heat coming from the sun because in order to make evaporation or in, in order to have evaporation we need to uh, have at least a high temperature in order for water to evaporate okay so the next one is the flour sifting so basically flour sifting is being used when you are going to make bakery products okay so flour system use using a sieve is 
important in baking or when baking. So basically, sifting is important in separating lumps of flour from the fine flour particles. Other solid ingredients like sugar and baking soda can also be sifted with the flour to ensure that all ingredients are well mixed with no lumps. Imagine without the use of uh, sieving you and when you are trying to eat uh, bakery products and you can see that there is a lumps of uh, unmixed uh, flour so it doesn't uh, you feel like you you feel like disappointed right so uh, in having uh, bakery products so or in making bakery products uh, they are using the they are using the sieve in order to separate the components from that of the product or from that of the mm, flour okay because flour are composed of different mixtures okay some some flour may contain uh, small insects that cannot be seen by our naked eye but some other uh, important some uh, some other important ingredients or in uh, bakery pro in some other component ingredients in has also separated like sugar okay just like sugar and the baking soda they are also uh, uh, they are being sieved in order to at least separate the unnecessary residue or components from that of the ingredients okay next is the water filtration take note that water is very important to us because it is so called as the what uh, it is also called as the universal solvent and take note that almost uh, 90% of our body or 80% of our body is composed of water so we must uh, we need a clean water in order for us to survive now in order for us to have that clean water it undergoes several uh, separation techniques and that process or in that technique has the water is the water filtration so filtration of potable water is important to make water safe imagine uh, imagine that the water has sand okay and you try to drink it so kapag kahalimbawa na inom mo yung sand syempre it may uh, result to unless result to more uh, fee to an it may result it may result to diseases and other illnesses like for example diarrhea okay so uh, bakit kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng diarrhea kasi if a water is not clean it has uh, it have it have many so it has many microorganisms so may mga nakikita tayong yung mga microorganisms na yun, hindi nakikita ng ating mga mata pero nakikita yun using the the microscope so halimbawa is may nainom kang tubig na may microorganisms and yung microorganisms na yun is nagkakosyon ng disease so basically sasakit yung chan mo magdadayariya ka at uh, magkakasakit ka so, water filtration is very important to filter out the and uh, the impurities from that of the water. Okay. Next is the manual waste segregation. So, wa waste segregation is a ma manual separation of mixture. Why why we say manual? Because we can use only our bare hands in order to separate the the components of the waste. Okay. So, in a mixture of waste. One can manually segregate the man to manage and dispose waste their proper container, biodegradable, non-biodegradable, recycle, and hazardous waste. So basically, uh, segregation is important in order to separate uh, the mixture component of our waste. Why? Because in uh, segregation, we can easily manage the waste and we can... Uh, use it or reuse it from the other or to the other useful mat we segregate uh we segregate 
So basically, we segregate mixtures of ways para at least ma gamit man natin for future use, okay? Or we can use it for future. So like for example, in biodegradable, so it contains the biodegradable products, okay? So biodegradable products are used by plants, okay? So ma ari natin gawin as a an alternative in as fertilizer. So it is an organic compound that is. I, that is, uh, we can make organic fertilizer serve from that of the biodegradable materials. How about non-biodegradable? Okay, in non-biodegradable, we are able to segregate it and uh, we are uh, separating non-biodegradable in order to separate the materials that is not uh, easily not easily degraded. So, ito yung mga plastic, okay? Mga rubber. So, they are not easily degraded or nabubulok. Kasi nga, uh, it contains uh, chemical compounds na mahirap na i- bulukin, okay? Mahirap mabulok. Okay? Next is the recyclable. Of course, when you are go going to, to segregate recyclable materials, maaari kang makakreate ng useful products from it then hazardous of course kapag hazardous materials we have to separate it and make sure na it cannot be uh, it can't be reached by uh, humans okay kasi kapag halimbawa yung hazardous component na yan is napunta sa ilog or halimbawa na ikalat siya so maaring mag uh, pagmulan yan ng maraming mga sakit so next is the magnet magnetism of waste or metal waste. So machines with magnetic equipment are used to separate metals that can be attracted with magnet from the waste. So this method is important to recover and recycle such waste into new useful materials. So basically, in metal waste or uh, in magnetism is being used to separate the mixture component of uh, waste materials or para makuha yung metal component dun sa mga materials, okay? So like for example, they are using magnets to recover the metals from that of the waste. At yung mga metal na yon, uh, i-break i i down nila into small pieces at i-melt nila at gagawin ulit nilang metal. So yung metal na yon is maaaring nilang gamitin into more useful products. Another example is yung mga cars, okay? Yung cars, it contain... Uh, metals, right? So, kapag ang car hindi na siya na, uh, nag-function or hindi na siya uh, tumatakbo or hindi na siya pwedeng gamitin, they can recycle it. They can uh, break the parts into small pieces and then uh, they can they could melt it and make it as a useful product or material. Okay, next is the blood samples in laboratories, in clinics, or hospitals that undergoes blood centrifugation. And blood centrifugation is a process of separating mixture. So, in blood centrifugation, uh, they are able to separate the components of blood from that of, of the components of blood. And we can say that the, uh, we can separate the red blood cells from that of the plasma the, and other components of it. So, ito yung ginagamit ng mga uh, pharmacists or pharmacist pharmaceutical industries nowadays in order to uh, get the plasma or the the plasma in the blood. Kasi yung plasma, it contains antibodies that fight the COVID. So, nakukuha nila yung plasma through the process of centrifugation. So, uh, siyempre, kapag kahalimbawa nakuha nila yung plasma, they are able to diagnose the diseases of the patient or they are able to see the patient's health condition. Okay? Next is the distillation of crude oil. So, in general term, masasabi natin na ang oil or yung mga diesel, kerosene, uh, and other uh, fuels came from crude oil and they are being distilled okay so distilled through the process of distillation so crude oil is liquid found under the earth's surface and it is used as different types of fuels 
okay? It is a mixture of different compounds that have different boiling points. So like for like for example, sa tubig, ang boiling point ng water is 100 degrees Celsius. So now, kapag na-reach ang tu ng uh, temp na kapag na-reach ng tubig yung kanyang boiling point, kukulo na siya, okay? At kapag kumulo na siya, nagkakaroon na siya ng evaporation process. So uh, in crude oil, they are separated by fractional distillation. So, smaller compounds boil at lower temperature while the larger compounds boil at the higher temperature. So, the different types of crude oil, they are able to separate fuel from that of crude oil because of the of its boiling point. So, kapag halimbawa na-reach ng isang fuel or yung halimbawa yung diesel, yung kanyang uh, uh, boiling point, Siyempre, uh, makukuha na ito or maaari na nila itong i-separate, okay? It's through the process of distillation, okay? So, halimbawa, baano nila nakukuha yung gas doon? Paano kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng gas? Naggagaling yung gas sa crude oil and it is being separated through the process of distillation. So, as a summary, the benefits of separating mixtures are the following. So, na... We have salt production, flour sifting, and water filtration. So, those uh, mentioned terms are being used in food industries. While in waste management, we have the manual waste segrega segregation and magnetism of metal waste. In health naman, nagagamit ang separating mixtures sa blood centrifugation. At sa industry, we have the distillation of crude oil. So, now, that ends the presentation and I hope you learned something from this uh, uh, video. So, thank you very much and God bless.